It doesn't take much in life to get caught up in the world's chaos, to let a little few things get you down in your day and all of a sudden you don't know how to pick your head up and get out of it. But just as fast as you get into that funk, let me tell you, it's just as fast to get out of it. I am super grateful today for the lifestyle that I'm living, that I have the ability right here, right now, to be out at a campsite, to be able to escape when I need to. Today we found that little piece of paradise at a little campground between Vancouver, BC and Squamish. This is called Porto Cove Campground. I don't always pay for camping, but when it's got an ocean view like this, <laughs> oh heck yes. Yep, this is exactly what I needed when I woke up grumpy this morning. A little fresh ocean air. <laughs> I have never stayed here before. We are at Porto Cove Campground. It's an oceanside campground. They start all the way down, they end down there and they go all the way as far as you can see. <laughs> After being grumpy the last few days, this is perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my house. Just when you think in life that, well, things can't get any better, you find a great little campsite like this one where you get to look out the back door of your van. This is legitimately the view from my bed. And it's in these moments right here that you remember why you started van life in the first place. Trust me, when you're in your van and this is the view you see with your own real eyes, you realize that that whole hashtag of van life is not fake, it's real. And I found this perfect Instagram moment just off the side of the highway between Vancouver and Squamish. It's insane out here. But sometimes you need days like today to remind you why you started this life or why you want to get into it. I, myself, couldn't be any more happier than I am today. That helicopter was super cool. Looked like a military helicopter. We don't see those kind of things around here. <laughs> that thing was pretty wild, man. Felt like I was like in Rambo the movie or something. All right, guys, we're making ourselves some food here. Um, cooking it on the uh, ceramic pan. Is that ceramic? Whatever that is. Um, we're not using the cast iron pan out here today because I need to do a full restart on them and start back fresh and reseason. Yeah. <laughs> I know some of you are like, what are you doing, Chrome? When I originally bought these Lodge cast iron pans, I've been having a fair amount of issues with things sticking. And I know they say it does take some time to build up some seasoning, but I've been using this cast iron pan now for probably six months, maybe a year. I'm not really too sure. But when I first got it, it had this grit to it. And it said it was pre-seasoned, but it had a gritty little finish to it. And I was online the other day and I learned from a pretty big, his name is Cowboy something Rollins, that when you get your pre-seasoned cast iron pan, that you need to sand it out first. Sand out all of that grittiness so it's got a fairly smooth surface. Then start your seasoning process. So that would explain why the cast iron's been kind of annoying me a little bit. Um, <laughs> let me show you something. I bought myself a new cast iron set. So it's got a deeper pan than the other one and also has a lid here 
that fits right along the top. So when I bought this one is when I really started to realize these look different than the ones that I've been seeing on some of those channels. This is really like, like a rock guard liner in the bottom of a truck. It's really rough. And when you see cast iron pans everywhere else, they have a fairly smooth finish. So when I was watching that guy's channel, he said, sand out all of this stuff and then start completely fresh. So we're just, we're just, <laughs> we're sanding this now. Oh, this is way better. Took, uh, took about 45 minutes of uh, elbow grease, but it's uh, definitely a whole lot better. I wish I would have did this before instead of <laughs> wait so long. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to get that season now. Woo! So good. Now we need to heat this up uh, good and warm to make sure it's nice and dry. Then we're just going to run a super thin layer of flaxseed oil over there for now until I can get access to an oven or the ability to light a campfire and get it good and warm. I am definitely no expert when it comes to cast iron. I've done a lot of online research. I'm still kind of learning. But this right here about sanding these things down when you first buy it just makes sense. So from what I understand is they don't make these like they used to. I guess like 30, 40 years ago, these cast iron pans used to come out of the factory super smooth. Now it's like they skip that process. So anyway, the uh, I just got myself some uh, meatballs there ready to go. I kind of squished them so they would cook a little faster. And then, uh, yeah, Ooh, these are good. And we're gonna enjoy the rest of this evening. Ever get windy out here super fast? Hey, buddy. Hi, crazy. Just gonna shut the doors, bro. It's super windy. Hey, crazy. Hi, buddy. I don't know where the parks people are. They haven't come around to collect any money from us yet, bro. It's kind of sad, man. It's like five o'clock. <laughs> I think I know what's been missing in my life. I think I need to spend more time with my music. That I do. <laughs> we gotta clean this. Um, it's it's a little it's a little dirty. I ordered a, a plastic cover for the top of this thing, and I'm hoping it still fits in there with the cover on. Um, but yeah, it's been rather dusty around my van these days. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I'm about to open up my tequila drawer. Ready? Boom. Oh! <laughs> wow, look at that light. This is that motion light. Hey, look at that thing. I plan on sticking it right there so when I open up the drawer, it's like dun 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 dun. All right, one more time, one more time. Boom. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. How simple of a thing is this? Like, really, ready to go, bada boom. So I might stick one in here as well. I don't know where. Oh, these are awesome. Now I got my curious, where can I put all these little <laughs> fancy lights inside of all of my drawers? So a second I open up any drawer, hooey. What do you think, buddy? He's like, Daddy, put one in my treats drawer. That's a good idea. I'm gonna put one right up here. Oh, snap. Okay, this, I'm just gonna throw this in here. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. So it's just sitting right there beside the bags. I'm gonna mount it right above here. Not like it really makes much of a difference because usually when I'm in there, I got the lights on, but that's seriously like, oh my goodness. Bam. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. Boy, are we done, baby. Ah, oh, was that ever good? Oh, I have so missed playing with my DJ stuff. I need to do this more often. So, um, I made a couple of mixes. Um, just shorties. I made one called I Miss the Club, because <laughs> I do. And uh, I also made like a nice, easy, like new disco house sort of mix. So uh, I'm going to try to get those posted here for you guys. Uh, the links for all those are on my website at vancityvanlife.ca. Just scroll down the front page and you'll see my DJ Chrome Mixes link. That was super satisfying. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. I still got to frame this picture here. Oh, I have been so scared to wreck it. This one a subscriber did of me and Disco. I want to get a glass frame for it. Still haven't done that yet. It's coming though. Right now I just been hiding this one in my tequila drawer. <laughs> that was so good to open up that tequila drawer and have it go boom with the light on. Super sweet. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. I haven't mounted it yet. It's just still like kind of just sitting here. <laughs> super cool. This is seriously what I have to deal with. Just waiting, waiting patiently to do dishes. That is an amazing job. Good job, buddy. Look how good he did. <laughs> Not bad, that thing was a, a giant mess. Hey, good job, bro. It's dark out there, we should turn the porch light on. Right now my heat's coming out of this hole over here. So I'm gonna adjust it tonight so the heat's coming out underneath my bed. Let's see if this makes any difference whatsoever. I don't know if that's gonna work because I don't know if that's gonna keep my entire bed platform warm or just this side of the bed platform warm. This is a really cozy shirt. I got this the other day for my friends at Off Grid Depot. Uh, I'm loving this gray color. It's so awesome on me. So anyway guys, while we're just hanging out tonight, I wanna share some thoughts with you. I've really been thinking about going to get this tattoo finished. Um, I'd have to go to Penticton, BC to get it done. So I think I'm gonna have a little chat with my daughter and see when I can take off again and uh, I would love to go get all this stuff finished. Ooh, it's got all these little empty spots and just, it needs love and the hand needs to be done. So I might uh, actually message my tattoo guy and see if he's down to finish this arm for me. Woo hoo! <laughs> yeah. What do you say? Maybe I get a tattoo of you on me? Can I put a big fat cruise the bulldog on my arm? Can I do it? Can I do it? Can't never go to big chest you are, eh? Oh, I love living in this van. It is extremely enjoyable. It's such a cozy, amazing little space. And tonight I'm paying for camping. Something I haven't done in a little while and technically I didn't pay for it yet. Nobody's come around to collect. Maybe they'll do that first thing in the morning when they open up that gate. They might do a little run through, but yeah, nobody came through here yet tonight. 
Um, I'm excited to get up tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's not windy because I'd love to throw the drone up in the air. Today the wind was out of control and there's no way my drone, that little tiny DJI Mavic Mini 2, if it catches even a bit of wind, it's out. <laughs> it doesn't have the strength to fly into any wind whatsoever because it is just like literally 249 grams. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. I want to thank you for being inside of my home and my life every day. And I feel honored that I'm inside of your life taking up a little bit of your time because I know how valuable time is. So all of this stuff really means a lot to me. And I know somewhere in the world there's a husband or wife watching me on their iPad in bed and their spouse is like, will you please shut that guy off? He's super annoying. So hi husband, hi wife. <laughs> My bad, I'm so I'm, I'm sorry. And I know somewhere at work, someone's got their headphones on at work and the boss is paying them to watch my content because they're sick and tired of the 9 to 5 grind. I appreciate you guys too. And I even appreciate those who are probably watching this while they're sitting in the bathroom taking a poop. <laughs> I think about that sometimes. Okay guys, gotta go. Weirdos unite, baby!